okay so our next lecture is for the central nervous system again and it is the last lecture for the central nervous system in which we are going to discuss the brain stem in the brain stem <coughs> there are three things the pons medulla oblongata and the midbrain and uh, three of these parts are going to be discussed later so as you can see that uh, in this diagram there is written as a brain stem okay uh, that is a brain stem in which there is a midbrain the pons the medulla the basilar artery and the vertebral artery uh, i couldn't find any better image than this it was very clear so that we could differentiate each and every part of the brain you guys have to watch some videos on the brain like uh, 3d videos like what is in the other side in the left side in the lateral side how does it looks like how does it works so videos will help you more than this so today we are going to study about the brain stem so what comes in a midbrain midbrain uh, is also called as mesencephalon <clears throat> it is the forwardmost portion of the brain stem you guys have seen in the last image that where is the midbrain present so it is associated with the vision and the hearing the motor control the sleep wakefulness arousal alertness and the temperature regulations <clears throat> the mesencephalon is considered part of the brain stem its substantia and anger is closely associated with the motor system pathways of the basal ganglia the human mesencephalon is archipelian in origin and meanings that its general architecture is shared with the most ancient of the vertebrates okay so we all know that all the vertebrates in the past were some kind of same and were generated by one only <coughs> vertebrae or whatever there are some misconceptions in the science <coughs> but we all know according to the islam that what we are and what we are <coughs> and there is no any kind of evolution like this but they think it is so they need logics and they are finding it <coughs> okay <coughs> so the midbrain is producing dopamine produced in the substantia nigra and ventral tegmental area plays a role in the movement movement planning excitation motivation habituation and species of the human to the most elementary animals such as insects so it means if you are not excited if you have not any kind of motivations and habituation of the species that means you are not having a dopamine working if your dopamine is released by midbrain then it should be uh, working like play a role in your movement and excitation of the movement okay so <clears throat> midbrain is the area of the brain that is called also a relay station why it is so it is around the central aqueduct between the cerebrum and above the pons it has nuclei and the nerve fibers uh, which connects the cerebrum with the lower part of the brain with the spinal cord the nuclei act as the relay stations for the ascending and the descending nerve fibers and have important roles in the auditory and the visual reflexes so then comes pons so what is pons a pons is a part that is situated in front of the cerebellum and below the midbrain above the middle of longeta it has no fibers as many others like no fibers are the white matters and nucleus are the gray matter that forms a bridge between the two hemispheres of the cerebellum and of the fibers passing between the higher levels of the brain and the spinal cord there are nuclei within the bones and that act as relay stations and some of these are associated with the cranial nerves others form the pneumotaxic and the agnostic centers that operate in conjunction with the respiratory centers and the medulla oblongata to control the respiration <coughs> so respiration is controlled by the pons the anatomical structure of the pons differs from the cerebrum in the cell bodies the gray matter lies deeply and the nerve fibers are on the surface
सब कुछ क्या है सो वट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ द पॉन्स इट हैज फोर केनियल नर्व इंक्लूडेड द रेगुलेशन ऑफ द रेस्परेशन कंट्रोल इंट्रोडक्शन सेंसरी रोल इन दियरिंग इन दिलीवरिंग टेस्ट इन दिशियल सेंसेशन सच एस टच पेन एंड ऑल्सो इट डज द मोटर रोल लाइक आई मूवमेंट फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन चूइंग स्वेलोइंग एंड स्पीशल ऑफ स्लाइव एंड टीयर्स पॉन्स contain nuclei that relay signals from the forebrain to the cerebellum along with the nuclei that deals primarily with the sleep and the respiration and the swallowing the bladder control hearing equilibrium taste eye movement facial expression facial sensation and the posture so these all and all functions are controlled by the pons <coughs> it is also called as apnoustic center pneumotaxic and agnostic center you guys have to remember these two names <coughs> so what i was telling you before what pneumotaxic center is pneumotaxic center consists of sub parabrachial and the medial parabrachial nuclei it actually regulates the inhalation and exhalation acha so it means that it helps in the respiration so the pneumotaxic center is helping in the respiration process in the respiratory system okay bonds is implicated in the sleep paralysis and may also play a, a role in generating dreams see in the brain stem that this is the bonds the blue portion is the bonds so Uh, the upper one is the midbrain and the lower one is going to be the medulla oblongata <coughs> i'm going to share medulla oblongata as i come also so next comes the medulla oblongata the medulla oblongata is simply uh, medulla we get it is called is a long stem like structure which makes up the lower part of the brain stem it is anterior and particularly inferior to the cerebellum it is actually cone shaped neuronal mass responsible for the autonomic functions what are the autonomic functions we know these are the involuntary functions that ranging from the vomiting to the sneezing and these all are involuntary we cannot control over it what medulla contains it contains the cardiac respiratory vomiting vasomotor centers vasomotor center sorry therefore deals with the autonomic functions of breathing heart rate blood pressure as well as sleep and wake cycle and sleep and wake cycle we have read it before that it is also controlled uh, uh, it is also controlled by uh, the hypothalamus and diencephalon is also working on it so sleep and wake cycle pe bahut sari cheeze kaam kar rahi hai hamari brain ki is pe normally involuntary functions aate hain jisko aapne yaad kar rahe hain jisme hamare paas breathing hai heart rate hai blood pressure hai etc medulla oblongata connects the higher level of the brain to the spinal cord and is responsible for several functions of the autonomous nervous system autonomic nervous system is uh, also included and i'm going to tell you about these things in the other class the control of the ventilation via signals from the carotid and the aortic body the respiration is regulated by the groups of chemoreceptors and i have told you before what are chemoreceptors those who sense the chemicals these senses detect the changes in the acidity of the blood for example the blood comes too acidic the middle oblongata sends electrical signals to the intercostal and the phrenic muscle tissue to increase the contraction rate and increase the oxygenation of the blood so what does that mean that is helping in the respiratory system and respiration mein jo hamare chemoreceptors hote hain jisme hame pata lagta hai ki increase of oxygen and decrease of the carbon dioxide and hamari requirement hame hypoxia kab hota hai that is all and all controlled by the medulla oblongata the ventral respiratory group and the dorsal respiratory groups are the neurons involved in the regulation both groups are is, are involved in the regulation of the respiration so <coughs> cardiovascular system is also included in the <coughs> medulla oblongata matlab cardiovascular center is included so cvs is controlled by the medulla oblongata 
इट इज़ इंक्लूडेड इन द सिंपथेटिक इन द पैरासिम्पथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम जो कि हम आगे पढ़ने वाले हैं आगे जाके मैं आपको बताऊंगी ये दोनों के दोनों क्या हैं विजो मोटर सेंटर्स जिसमें बैर रिसेप्ट आते हैं रिफ्लेक्स सेंटर्स जिसमें वॉमिटिंग काफिंग स्नीसिंग एंड स्वेलिंग आता है फिर इंजिल रिफ्लेक्स आता है जो स्वेलो रिफ्लेक्स आता है मेस्ट रिफ्लेक्स आता है बल्कि रिफ्लेक्स आते हैं ये सारे के सारे रिफ्लेक्स जो है ये मिडिल ऑबलोम लेता है ही रिसीव करता है ठीक है तो so, हमारे पास ये आता है ब्रेन स्टेम जिस ब्रेन स्टेम के अंदर तीन पार्ट थे जो लास्ट वाला हम पढ़े हैं दैट इज़ मुझे लॉब लोग बेटा बिफोर दैट देर आर ट्यू मोर थिंग्स जो कि हमने लिखी थी पहली पॉन्स जो सब मिड ब्रेन थ्री ऑफ दैम मेक्स द ब्रेन स्टेम सो मिडिला ऑब्लोम गेटा इज हेयर इट इज़ नॉट डिफाइंड वेरी मच मिडिल ऑब्लोम गेटा को आपको अनेटमी के लिए आपको चाहिए कि आप इसको दूसरी तौर पर भी पढ़ें जिसमें एक एक चीज़ के बारे में इन्होंने लेबोरेट किया हुआ है अदरवाइज जो है ये मैंने सिर्फ एक आपको बताया फंक्शन के तौर पर यह यहाँ पर होता है उसके बाद मैं आपका फंक्शन बता दूँ काइंडली आप इस चीज़ को नोटिस पर रखें कि जब भी आप किसी सब्जेक्ट को मेरे पास पढ़ें तो उसकी अनेटमी भी साथ साथ पढ़ें सो दैन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिकसीशन ऑफ द पैरामिट्स बट डज दैट मीन्स मैंने आपको पहले भी बताया कि ये आ रहे होते हैं ऊपर से जब हमारे नर्व निकल रही होती हैं देट डिसेंड फ्राम द मोटर एरिया इन टू द सेल फ्राम इन टू द स्पाइनल कार्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट दे क्रॉस ओवर ईच अदर इट मीन्स दैट द राइट वन इज गोइंग टू कंट्रोल द लेफ्ट पार्ट एंड द लेफ्ट वन इज गोइंग टू कंट्रोल द राइट पार्ट दिस मीन्स दैट द लेफ्ट हेमी स्पेयर ऑफ द सेल फ्रम कंट्रोल द राइट हाफ ऑफ द बॉडी and the right hemisphere of the cerebrum controls the left half of the body these main tracks are the pathways of the skeletal muscles that are the very voluntary that means they are in the voluntary control we are going to control it by ourselves then hamare paas aata hai sensory decussation what is in it some of the sensory nerve fibers ascend from the cerebrum from the spinal cord and cross that way मतलब ये कि स्पाइनल कार्ड से निकला और वहाँ पर उन्होंने क्रॉस किया अदर टिक सेट लोअर डाउन इन द स्पाइनल कार्ड आफ्टर दैट द कार्डियोवास्कुलर सिस्टम द कार्डियोवास्कुलर सेंटर दिस एरिया कंट्रोल्स द रेट एंड द फोर्स ऑफ द कार्डिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इट कंट्रोल्स द ब्लड प्रेशर विद इन द कार्डियो वेस्कुलर सेंटर अदर ग्रुप्स ऑफ द नर्व सेल्स फॉर्मिंग द वेजोमोट सेंटर कंट्रोल्स द डायमीटर ऑफ द ब्लड वेजल्स especially the small arteries and the arterioles the vasomotor center is situated by the arterial baroreceptors body temperature emotions sexual excitements anger pain usually causes vasoconstriction all the sphere pains may cause vasodilation and a fall in the blood pressure in the fainting so it does contribute towards the blood pressure towards the diameter of the blood vessels towards the uh, cardiac contractions <clears throat> it also act in body temperature emotions and all these things then the respiratory system the respiratory center in which the rate of the respiration includes phrenic and intercostal nerves help in the conducting in the conduction of the nerve impulses to stimulate the contraction of the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles and thus initiate the respiration that is inspiration and then expiration inhalation and the exhalation If the function is close, in close association with the pneumotaxic and the epineustic centers in the pons. That means when I have earlier told you that one thing is not able to control one place. Three or four places are able to control it. Allah Taala has made our system so beautiful that if one thing is damaged, then the other thing will be compensated for some way. The system will somehow compensate for some way. The system will somehow compensate for some way. बिल्कुल ख़त्म नहीं होगा क्योंकि एक ही जगह पर उसका काम नहीं पड़ा हुआ मतलब एक एक वेसल है अगर हमारी वो एक वेसल डैमेज हो जाती है देन इट डजेंट मीन दैट आर होल कार्डियो वेस्कुलर सिस्टम आर होल वेस्कुलर सिस्टम इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क नो बिकॉज देर इज सम नेटवर्क वन इज डैमेज अदर्स आर वर्किंग एंड एवरी इज गोइंग टू वर्क सो दे आर कनेक्टेड इन अ पैरल वे रिमेम्बर पैरल एंड द अदर वन इज एक तो होता है पैरल सर्किट होता है दूसरा कौन सा सर्किट होता है समर सर्किट जिसमें हमारे पास एक स्विच ऑफ हो जाए तो आफ्टर दैट वो तीनों के तीनों बंद हो जाते हैं जो आगे लाइन वाइज लगे हुए होते हैं सीरीज में तो हमारा तो पूरा का पूरा सिस्टम है इज नॉट इन सीरीज दैट इज सम काइंड ऑफ पैरल अरेंजमेंट एक निकलती है दूसरे में जाती है ब्रांचेस जाती हैं अगर 
एक डैमेज हो भी जाए दैट इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू हार्म द अदर वन सो आफ्टर दैट रिफ्लेक्स सेंटर कम्स रिफ्लेक्स सेंटर वट इज़ रिफ्लेक्स सेंटर दैट रिटर्न प्रेजेंट नर्वस स्टमिक्स इन द रेस्पायरेटरी ट्रैक इन एनी थिंग इवन ऑन द बॉडी वी आर गोइंग टू रिफ्लेक्स इट एंड हम इसको हटाएंगे उस वहाँ से हम वॉमिट करेंगे कफ करेंगे स्नीज करेंगे टू प्रोटेक्ट आर स्टमिक आर रेस्पायरेटरी सिस्टम एंड देन अटैम्प टू एक्सपेल द इरीटेंट वन एवर वी कफ वन एवर वी ड्यू कफिंग दैट मीन्स दैट देर इज सम इरीटेंट इन आवर रेस्पायरेटरी ट्रैक and we are going to expel it and we are trying to expel it that's why we are coughing whenever there is something irritates in your nose you sneeze that means that you are removing the irritation that sneezing but sneezing sometimes kisi aur cheez se bhi related hota hai ek hota hai hichki jo hame aati hai khana khane ke baad khana khane se pehle kabhi bhi kisi waqt koi kehta hai yaad karte ke waqt aa rahi hai so there abhi koi exact nahi pata ki what does मतलब वट थिंग कॉज इज एट कुछ नहीं पता सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट लेटर इन द क्लास अब वट इज रेटिकुलर फॉर्मेशन दीज आर द न्यूक्लियाई न्यूक्लियर प्रेजेंट इन द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ आवर ब्रेन एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड सम हाउ इंटर कनेक्टेड न्यूक्लियाई इन द ब्रेन स्टेम so these neurons these neurons of the reticular formation makes up a complex set of the networks in the core of the brain stem that extends from the upper part of the midbrain to the lower part of the medulla oblongata the reticular formation includes ascending pathways to the cortex and ascending reticular activating systems and descending pathways to the spinal cord via the reticular spinal tract रेटिकुलर फॉर्मेशन में हमारे पास हंड्रेड और मोर स्मॉल न्यूरल नेटवर्क होते हैं दैट वेरी फंक्शन इंक्लूडिंग सोमेटिक मोटर कंट्रोल कार्डियो वेस्कुलर कंट्रोल पेन मॉड्यूलेशन स्लीप एंड कॉन्शियसनेस एंड हैबिटुएशन इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड इन रेटिकुलर फॉर्मेशन सेरिबेलम मेजर फीचर है फाइन ब्रेन का इट इज स्मॉलर देन अ सेरिब्राम but it is present at the back of the brain at the back of the head so in humans the cerebellum plays an important role in the motor control some cognitive functions is also done by the cerebellum such as attention and the language as well as emotional control regulating in the fear and the pleasure response but its movement related functions are most solidly established so cerebellum is situated behind the pons and immediately below the posterior portion of the cerebrum occupying the posterior cranial fossa it is ovoid in the shape ovoid in the shape like oval and has two hemispheres separated by the narrow median strip jisko hum vomis kehte hain and gray matter hota hai forms the surface of the cerebrum so hum uh, discuss karenge ab iske functions So the human cerebellum does not initiate any movement. It contributes in the co- coordination, the precision, the accurate timing. It also plays a role in the learning and the language processing. Damage to the cerebellum results in the clumsy movement, like uncoordinated muscular movement, the staggering gait, inability to carry out smooth, steady, precise movement, inability to uh, talk like uh, like fluently. so it receives input from the sensory systems of the spinal cord and forms other part of the brain and integrates these inputs to fine tune motor activity cerebellar damage produces disorders in the fine movements equilibrium posture and the motor learning in the humans so if you guys can see in this image that this is the cerebellum that is the red orange part and this brain is the cerebellum that was the best picture i could ever find so that's why i had put it this in the slides so that you guys can see and know that this is what we can call hind brain or the cerebellum so isi ke sath aapka lecture khatam hota hai